This is the Raspberry Pi 4. They are fantastic devices, but I have one complaint with mine. It runs hot. Often I have this device in the official Raspberry Pi case and I've noticed that the temperatures get up to the max of 85 degrees at times when it's under load. When these chips get up to 85 degrees, they throttle their performance to bring the heat back down. I don't like having my performance throttled and I just want it to run a little bit cooler. So I went and picked up this relatively cheap case on Amazon that has a heat sink and a fan installed to see if we can bring those temperatures down a bit. In this video, we're gonna run a bunch of tests, six in total. We're gonna start with the Raspberry Pi in its official case, doing an idle baseline to get the temperature. We're then gonna spike the CPU, put it under some stress to see what the max temperature it gets up to. We're then gonna repeat the exact same test on just the Pi by itself without a case. And then finally, we're gonna set this up and see the difference. Going into this video, I'm expecting the official case to be the worst performance when it comes to temperature, followed by just this without a case. And then obviously the fans should make a difference, but let's see what reality is. We're going to slot our Raspberry Pi into its case and plug it in. Let's start the idle baseline test. It appears CPU is at 5%, memory just under 30, and the temperature sitting at 55 degrees Celsius. Now let's go ahead and put this Raspberry Pi under a bit of load. We're gonna remote desktop into our Raspberry Pi. And I'm just gonna open up a terminal session. Now to put it under load, we're going to use a tool called Stress. We're gonna go ahead and install the tool. So we're gonna do sudo apt install stress. We're going to run this tool by typing stress space dash dash CPU. Give it the amount of cores you want it to run on. Now I tried four cores and it spiked it absolutely to 100% the entire time, max the temp. And then I tried one which constantly kept it like 30%. So this time we're gonna try two and I'm hoping it keeps the CPU load between 50 to 70%. I'm trying to stimulate real world stress of how my Raspberry Pi generally behaves. So that's now running in the background. I'll quickly refresh my dashboard and we can see CPU was sitting at 54%, which is good. That's kind of what we want to test and we can see the temperature straight away has jumped up to 74.5 degrees. Previously, it was idling at around 55, so that's an instant jump in 20 degrees Celsius. The test is done and it appears that it hovers around 80 degrees Celsius when under load in that case. If I click in and have a look at the stats, show more, we can see this is the idle temperature down here. It kind of hovered around that 55, 56 degrees Celsius baseline and then jumped up to 80 degrees. We're now going to shut the Raspberry Pi down, take the case off and run the tests again with no case. And we're back. We can see without the case on, it is idling at 50 degrees Celsius. By removing the official case from our Raspberry Pi, as I suspected, we removed six degrees instantly off that idle running temperature. Just like the test before, we're gonna remote into our Raspberry Pi and we're gonna run that stress test tool. Okay, it's just completed, so let's have a look at the results. So we can see that idle temp of around 50 degrees and then it shoots up to around about 67, 68 degrees. Comparing the results with the default case, at idle we had 56 degrees, under load 80 degrees. By comparison, without a case at all, that improved significantly. Idle sitting at 50 degrees Celsius and load 68. These are just two very basic tests that we've done and when it comes to temperature, it looks like I shouldn't be using a case. With that being said, I have three little kids and it's just not safe or practical for me to have the Raspberry Pi exposed outside of a case. So we're going to set this new case up, which has a fan inbuilt, and I'm hoping we get remarkably better temperatures under load and when idling. We're back up and running with that case installed, so let's take a look at the stats. It is currently idling at 35.5 degrees Celsius. That's a huge improvement when we compare that to the default case and the no case option. 
Obviously running cooling is always going to be better, I just wasn't expecting it to be 20 degrees celsius better. So I'm pleasantly surprised on that front. Now let's go ahead and put it under some load. We're going to open up a terminal session and we're going to run our command. Stress test is done, so if we go in and check our results... Since installing the fan we can see the idle temperature hovered around 35 5 to 36 degrees and under load it jumped up to a max of around what 47 48 degrees here are all the test results compared side by side the conclusion is the official raspberry pi case is terrible for heat management you are far better off having no case at all we can see you get an extra 6 degrees celsius on idle and 12 degrees celsius when under load. Now there are practical reasons why you might want a case to protect it from spills, food, little kids. But if you're going to go for a case you might as well get one with a fan and some thermal heat management attached. I'm super stoked with those results, I am definitely going to keep this case. If anyone wants to snag one up, I'll put a link in the description down below. This is for the Raspberry Pi 4, now they do make other models, just make sure you get the right one that's compatible with your device. Before we wrap up, there are two things I want to cover. The first, I want to run this at 100% CPU load, just to see how high we can get the temperature in this fancy new case with the fan and heatsink. And then secondly, I want to configure the fan because I probably don't want it running 24-7, but rather I only want it to kick in when the CPU gets above a certain temperature. So we're going to go back to our terminal window and we're going to run that stress command, but this time instead of CPU 2, we're going to do CPU 4 to max out all of the cores. Okay, that has been running for quite some time now. We can see the CPU was maxed out at 100% and the temperature is only around 57 to 58 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that stress test. Now the final thing we want to do is configure that fan so it's not running 24-7. Mainly because we don't want to draw electricity unnecessarily and we don't want to add any extra background noise if we don't need it. If you remote into your Raspberry Pi, click the start menu, go preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration. We want to head over to the performance tab. And for the fan, we want to go ahead and enable these settings. Fan GPIO. This relates to the pins that we plugged it into. Because we used the one specified, the default value of 14 here is perfect. What we want to do is set the temperature that we want the fan to kick in at. For me, I'm thinking 75 degrees is perfect, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I did have to reboot my Raspberry Pi for those changes to take effect, and I feel a lot better now knowing my Raspberry Pi isn't constantly going to be running extremely hot. So that's all I had for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.